Hey guys, Jillian here from Super U with another installment of Tip Tuesday. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite things, which is vulnerability. Um, as you all know, I hope that from the number of posts I post about her, I'm a big fan of Miss Brené Brown. And uh, she talks a lot about vulnerability and the power of vulnerability. And it's certainly been a focus for me in my life and in my coaching practice and in my practice as a fitness professional. Um, but I had the opportunity to be on a webinar with Elizabeth Gilbert, um, the author of Eat, Pray, Love and her latest Big Magic. And one of the things that I took away from that webinar was once again how vulnerability kind of just enhances life and makes things better and it really helps us connect to one another and I had a really great example of that show up for me in one of my private Facebook accountability groups this week I asked my participants to share with the group a picture of their um, nutrition trackers every single day for a week um, the purpose of the exercise was not to be perfect the purpose of the exercise was to share to acknowledge every day what they did awesome focus on their successes and focus on what their goal for the next day was so that was the activity but what's really cool that I didn't expect to come out of it and some of the biggest takeaways from the week when I asked them at the end of the week was it was really nice to see that not everybody is perfect <laughs> And gosh, isn't that just a statement of, of life in general? Isn't it nice to see that not everybody's perfect? And I think we can kind of get stuck, especially in the social media age, of having this feeling like everybody's got everything totally figured out. And you know what? Nobody does. Nobody's got it all figured out. I don't have it all figured out. You know, that person who looks to have it all figured out, they probably don't either. And so just acknowledge that we're all just doing our best and actually there's really beautiful things happening when it's not perfect. Um, there's some great quotes and I'm sure I, I've posted quite a few of them over the years. But my big thing that I wanna encourage you to do in this Tip Tuesday today is to be vulnerable. Brené Brown makes a really great distinction between vulnerability and what she calls floodlighting. Vulnerability is just not airing your dirty laundry. It is not, um, that's kind of, it usually makes people feel uncomfortable if you're just sharing your kind of gritty stuff without purpose. Vulnerability is sharing it with purpose. There's intention behind sharing your struggles. And I think that if you can come from a place of sharing your struggles, but sharing in a way of connection, sharing in a way of relatedness, so that people get that they're not alone. I think that breaks down barriers and enhances our connections to other people. So as you're posting on Facebook today, or as you're being with other people today, consider how you can be vulnerable, without floodlighting and notice how those connections really increase. For the next four weeks, my tip Tuesday after this one, so four more weeks after this week, I'm gonna share my insights that I got from this amazing webinar that I was able to participate in with Elizabeth Gilbert. So stay tuned next week, I'll be talking a little bit more about my insights and reflections from that webinar. Have a fantastic day.